Hey y'all, welcome to Confetti Charm. My name is Jalen and today I brought to you a Valentine's Day haul from Boohoo actually. Um, so I pretty much picked out some pieces um, that I thought would be really cute to wear on Valentine's Day, depending on your edge, depending on your style. So I pretty much did the groundwork. All you gotta do is go online, purchase them, wear them, enjoy your Valentine's Day. So let's get into this haul. Okay, coming in for the first outfit. This cute little two-piece fur set is like a cute little suit. Isn't this so cute? So I decided to pick this because I know that every girl is very different. Some girls are dressed girls. Some people like to go a lot more dressy. Um, and some people like to go a little bit more casual. But I, f I felt like this gave like that cute Elle Woods vibe, like clueless. And I just fell in love with it. It was pink. This color right now is super on trend. So like this is the Valentino pink right now. It is super on trend. Um, and then with the fur, I was like, ah, oh, like it's so many different elements and trends in this that I just absolutely love. I love the detailing and the fur that's on the sleeves um, and also on the hem on the bottom. I love the tailoring of it. Like it's very structured. Um, it's not something that just like gives us, it doesn't give much stretch. That's what I'm coming to tell you. It does not give much stretch. So I would suggest you size it. <laughs> like, that's the only problem I have with this. Like, it's super cute. It just needs to be sized up. It's so cute though. Like, it has like, almost looks like that double breast um, illusion. Um, but it has like this little um, button on the inside and this button right here. And I just love the detailing of it. It's like simple, it's cute. It's, it has like this elegance to it, um, but still flirty for Valentine's Day. So I was like, huh. This actually might be a really cute option to wear on Valentine's Day. What do you guys think? Let me know down in the comments what you guys think about this. And to kind of finish off the look, I just was like, well, let me put on like my little baby doll shoes because I feel like it kind of works. So what y'all think? Y'all let me know down below. Look at it. I paired it with this um, metallic 
this metallic clutch that I got from Zara, oh my gosh, some years ago. Um, and I thought it would be a nice little element added onto this because in here, if you look closely, it has like greens, um, reds, and all of that in there. So I was like, oh, that'll be kind of perfect to go in there because I didn't want to go too matchy-matchy. And then I paired it with a sandal because obviously if this is this long, I kind of want to do a little bit, go, with, go the sexy route or go a romantic route. So I went with a sandal um, that I'll show you in a second. But I just thought this was a great option for Valentine's Day. What you guys think? I love it. I love this one. And just like I had a size 8, the other set that I just showed you is a size 8 also. Size up and up. Okay. Size up and up. But this one, your normal size. If you are if you have a lot more butt and all of that, maybe you might want to go up in size because she is hugging me a little bit here. And she doesn't have much skin because she's a really sturdy um, material. So size up if you have a lot more hips and butt than I do. But yeah, I'm a size eight. This is a size eight and it fits me wonderful.
the bag I got from Amazon, so it should be, I think, I think I got this bag from Amazon. I think I got this this bag from Amazon. I thought it was a cute little touch to what I'm what I'm wearing today. I thought the the chunkiness. I feel like it just added that extra cute like element to this. So here you go. Let me know what y'all think in the comments of this red one. It's not everybody's cup of tea, but it's somebody's cup of tea, honey. And this is your third option. Okay, now, so this is the fourth look. It's this police oversized shirt, and I just literally added on a gold belt. I bought this belt from Zara probably a, a year or a year and a half ago, but I thought this would be super cute for the girls that just like that oversized, but still have this nice, like, romance look to it, and it's a little bit edgy. So it's a little bit more on the edgy side. It's not a fabric girl, but I thought this least oversized top or dress would be perfect for that girl that doesn't want to show too much body you just want to throw on something I'm an oversized girl I love an oversized outfit um so this definitely is like for one like a girl for like me like a cute little outfit um oversized dress that I can just throw on put on some bold gold accessories with it put on some gold heels a gold clutch and go so I think this is a no-brainer. It's cute. I don't have to overthink it. A lot of these outfits, you really don't have to overthink. It's you put on, put your accessories on, go on about your business. What y'all think? I love this. And it's like a satin too, so it has still has like that nice um, romance vibe to it. And it's red, so I thought it would be a super cute idea to throw this little element in here and give you a little something different than what you usually wear the body cons and stuff which is great but there are different options and here's one of the options <laughs> i bought this clutch from um i feel like i might have got it from amazon i'm not sure um and i just threw on some gold like sandals just to show you know a few tones you know just to be cute and i just thought this was a cute little look to go with it is definitely something to have in the closet and you can just even wear this the um the, the oversized shirt by itself with no belt no nothing um i just did this to give me a little bit of waist um so i don't look so frumpy or i don't it doesn't look like super oversized where i'm losing shape so that's why i put this belt on but i thought it would be a cute little element to add in there a little bit more you know boldness in there if you don't want to wear a belt, you don't have to wear a belt. But this is super cute. Um, 
that you also seen in the other outfit. Um, it cinches here in the waist, um, but I wanted to add just an extra element onto it, so I added on this bold gold belt, and then I paired it with these gold um, sandals, these gold strappy sandals, the same gold clutch. You don't have to reinvent the wheel bag, just put it on. And I mean,
Okay, so I switched the top onto this Feather Fit Bandeau, and it is so cute. It's like so full and pretty and like girly and flirty. What you guys think? And it goes with these white pants, and I mean anything kind of can go with the white pants. But I just thought that this was just such a cute like look. What you guys think about the bandeau? Do you prefer the red? Do you prefer the red bandeau? Um, the red, I'm sorry, the red um, organza top, or do you prefer this feather bandeau? What you guys think? the second to last looks. This is from our girls that like the black. This is a bodycon, but not your regular bodycon. It's a ribbed bodycon. And it has like these cute cutouts right here. And right here in the middle and just a little bit by the breast. I love this. I thought it was a cute, different kind of vibe besides just the regular like bodycon fitted. And that's cool. But I like a little something extra. Give me something a little extra. So I thought this would be a really good alternative to just the regular bodycon. And then on top of that, it has like this split right here in the middle um, that I thought was like a cute like added touch as opposed to it's on the side that's in the middle. And so it kind of gives you still that nice silhouette. <clears throat> what you guys think about this one? And then um, I paired it with these Zara, um, these are a polka dot, black and white polka dot, um, little sandal kind of heels. Cause it's kind of like cutesy. It's still a little edgy, but still very, very much so cutesy. And then I added on my Kate Spade clutch, this little card clutch that I, that I just absolutely adore. Um, and it has like the little black and white elements in here too. But I thought this was a cute little vibe. What y'all think? this 
cute little edgy if you're not the pink girl if you're not the white girl if you're not the red girl the black is always a great option and I feel like depending on your style depending on your like what you usually go for or what your element is this is one good element to have um, and it's a great option It's like this oversized blazer in the skirt. I think it's super cute. Um, I probably wear. I probably will wear this option, Normie, um, because going. I was trying to go a different direction than just the usual pinks and stuff like that, depending on where I'm going. But this is definitely like a cute, edgy vibe. I thought this was a good look for that girl that likes the black, um, that likes pleather. Here you go. Here you go. And I see you can wear these elements very, you can wear these two pieces very differently. If you want to wear the blazer by itself or something else, you could. If you want to wear the skirt by itself, you could. But I thought this was a good little look, y'all. What y'all think?